important sum based on cylinder and cone. Now, this is the question we have in front of us. Let us understand the question with the help of the figure. It says that a tent is in the shape of a cylinder surmounted by a conical top. We have been provided with a cylinder and it is surmounted by a conical top and the entire solid we have is a tent. Next, they have provided us with the dimensions of some of the parts of the tent. The height of the cylindrical part is given as 2.1 meter. The diameter of the cylindrical part is given as 4 meter and the slant height of the top of the cone is given as 2.8 meter. Next, this is that find the area of the canvas used for making the tent. That is, we need to find the total surface area of the tent. My dear students, we know that the entire tent is made up of a cylinder and a cone. And we also know that total surface area simply means the additions of the areas of those surfaces which are visible from outside. So, we can say the total surface area of the tent is equal to the curved surface area of the cone which will denote as S1 plus the curved surface area of the cylinder which will denote as S2. Now, let us understand and let us first focus on curved surface area of the cone. What is the formula to find curved surface area of a cone? Yes, it is pi r l. Now, my dear students, let us focus on curved surface area of the cylinder. What is the formula to find curved surface area of the cylinder? Yes, it is 2 pi r h. Now, let us focus on the given information. We have the slant height of the cone equal to 2.8 meter. So, we have small l. Next, the height of the cylindrical part is given as 2.1 meter. So, we can say that we have small h. So, the only parameter which we need to find for getting total surface area of the tent is the radius. Observe, how can we get the radius? We have diameter of the cylindrical part equal to 4 meter and if we have the diameter, we can calculate radius. It is equal to d upon 2. Diameter is 4, so it is equal to 4 upon 2. 4 upon 2 is equal to 2 meter. So, we have radius of the cone and the cylinder equal to 2 meter. Now, let us calculate curved surface area of the cone first. The formula is pi r l. Let us do the substitution. In place of pi, we will write pi. We know that the radius of the conical part is 2 and the slant height of the conical part, yes, it is 2.8. 2 into 2.8 is 5.6. So, we have curved surface area of the cone that is S1 equal to 5.6 pi meter square. Now, let us calculate curved surface area of the cylinder. The formula is 2 pi r h. Let us do the substitution. In place of 2, we will write 2. In place of pi, we will write pi. We know that the radius of the cylindrical part is 2 and we have the height of the cylindrical part equal to 2.1. Now, 2 into 2 is 4 and 4 into 2.1 is 8.4. So, we have curved surface area of the cylinder that is S2 equal to 8.4 pi meter square. Let us proceed further and now let us calculate total surface area of the tent which is equal to S1 plus S2 where S1 stands for curved surface area of the cylinder rather cone and it is 5.6 pi. S2 stands for curved surface area of the cylinder and yes, it is 8.4 pi. Observe, 5.6 pi plus 8.4 pi is equal to 14 pi. We know that pi is equal to 22 by 7. So, we have the next step equal to 14 into 22 by 7. Let us do the calculations. It is 7 ones are, it is 7 twos are. Now, 2 into 22 is 44. So, we have total surface area of the tent equal to 44 meter square. Next, it says that find the cost of the canvas of the tent at the rate of rupees 500 per meter square. We can say that total cost of the canvas for making the tent is equal to total surface area of the tent into the rate. Now, we have total surface area, yes, of the tent equal to 44. So, we will write 44 there and the rate which is given in the sum is 500. 44 into 500 is 22,000. So, we can say therefore, the total cost of the canvas for making the tent is equal to rupees 22,000. A very, very simple sum at the same time very beautiful. Thank you.